Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're looking at a beer called Headliner Blonde Ale from St. Arnold Brewing Company. Presented by St. Arnold Brewing Company. 4.3% alcohol. That's not high alcohol. It's in Houston, Texas. That's where it's brewed and canned. It's got a good born on date. Less than and two months old. We know little I've never seen it nothing before. about this beer. It's in a variety pack. And to me, this is the only St. Arnold beer that I've drank that doesn't have St. Arnold on it. So I don't know what the story is with this beer. Yeah, headliner presented by. Right. So with that being said, headliner presented by, is this someone else's beer that St. Arnold put out in the variety pack so we could try it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they did it for somebody. They may have done it for somebody. Who knows? You like all that gunk in Did you get enough beer? Same one I did, but I got a huge head. It's real foamy for some reason. I it's got almost like sea foam or something. It's off. Okay. Oh, you want some? No. I can live with getting ripped off. All right. I went to a restaurant today and paid for the water. So that's not cool when I go pay for water. It's not cool when you tell me about water. They should know what that means. All right. Anyway, uh, everybody, you go into a restaurant and they give you water. You wouldn't have to ask for it. In the old days. Yeah, now you ask for water. They would just bring you water like, automatically. Oh. Yeah. Well, the only water we have comes in a bottle. So here's a glass with ice and you got to crack it. As soon as you crack it open, you know you're getting charged for it. It's not the only water But then there's had. a spigot right there. They could pour it out the faucet. And you could just get it right out of the faucet. Did I order special water? No. I didn't order special water either. But boy, I sure get the fancy water. I think it said... Costco or something on the side of the bottle. <laughs> yeah, real fancy. You still had to pay like two dollars and fifty cents. High for quality it. water. All right. right, this is golden blonde, I should say. It has a typical creamy head. It's, no, I'd say it's spongy. It's not creamy. It's spongy. Mm, I think the spongy heads have bigger bubbles, like one of those old sponges that you're washing the dishes with. Spongy. Smells kind of bland. There's a smells little bland. Little, 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 little tiny bit of malt, but not too much aroma. It smells like a weak beer. Yeah, four point three. Same as Bush beer. A. But that's an, a lager. This is an ale. Yep, put up by a micro brew. Not so micro anymore. All right, let's go to taste. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> it's rolling out kind of flat. Yeah, I was going to say for a minute, it was reminding me of that Trader Joe's Blondale, but that one's better than this. It has yeah, more action. You, know, you and I were having a discussion earlier about how... We've noticed that some of these microbrew companies are starting to make not craft beer but macro beers and are selling them at craft beer. Yeah, like light lagers. <laughs> Tastes like Miller Yeah, <laughs> this one kind of got snuck in the variety pack, and I was thinking, oh man, look at this, got a different label and all that. It's going to be special. It's special, all right. <laughs> well, it's special. Kind of reminds me of, but that was a lager also. You know, Abita Golden they used to make. They brought it back for their anniversary, but Abita Golden. This just tastes like. <sighs> um, very, very light bread. Right. Um, little and then it's got like this kind of. Super low bitterness. It's kind of like got this second run taste to it almost where the flavor is <laughs> on there but oh we, we tried to extract more out of it and it wasn't really anything to extract out of it um, so this is coming down kind of light dry finish dry flavors are kind of it's, it's kind of it's kind of like it's it's kind of like it doesn't have enough of something in it you know what it tastes like 
It tastes like, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like that beer that I used to steal from my papa when I was like 10 years old, and he drank it over ice. This yeah. tastes like when they take the old people take the beer and on a ice. hot day and, and they ice. pour it over ice. And they'd say, oh, I like it like that because it's so light. It tastes like watered down beer. It reminds me of Valentine Ale, but with not as much taste. You can get right. Valentine Ale up in New York. It really tastes like somebody yet. took regular beer and just added some water to it. <sighs> kind of like bush beer. Okay. It's making me sleepy. Kind of like bush beer. The beer is making you sleepy. Not that huge Mexican meal. No, 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 no. Not that huge Mexican meal that someone had to eat. Um, it tastes good. I mean, it's a good flavor. It's just kind of bland. I wouldn't want to pay much for it. It's bland. It's it's bland. I don't know how you can say it tastes good and then call it, and then use bland in the same sentence. The taste is good, but it's just bland. You know what I mean? It doesn't have... The, 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 the flavor it has is good, it just doesn't have much. No, the flavor it has is not great. The, the graininess I say it, great. The graininess tastes kind of husky to me. Mm. I don't know. I, I can't give this a favorable grade. Uh, I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to give it a solid C. Just leave it at that. So, so average, huh? Nah, that's a good grade for this beer. Um, I think it's better than that. It's hum ho. Oh, you mean ho-hum. And that one, too. Either way, you spin it, huh? Um, it's kind of... It's good. I'll say 83. It's a good beer. 8.3 out of 10. It's a good beer, but it's nothing to get excited about. But it's enjoyable. I wouldn't want to pay a lot for it. No, I think St. Arnold for summer, was sneaking this into a um, variety yeah. pack. I saw, it, I saw the label, and I was thinking... Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. It's almost like the cover of the Rolling Stones. The album. What album was that from the from the eighties or the seventies? Had all the speakers on it. Is it tattoo you? No, that was a person's face. Maybe uh, you're thinking of uh I don't know what you're thinking of. I was gonna say Steel Wheels, but it couldn't be that. Maybe Steel Wheels tour, yeah. But anyway, that was in ninety four. But anyway, it's uh it's it's m good. I'm gonna say good and you're saying average. But anyway, that's the way it goes, so but you know, that's it. We'll say Milan. 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 All right, enough yeah. of that. You say that. Uh, nah. All right, anyway, so we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. St. Arnold, I think you can do better than this.